entrepreneur. That's a tough one, but we all know what it means. According to the dictionary, an entrepreneur is someone who takes a risk with confidence and initiative to capitalize on new and profitable endeavors. They're innovators, and I would add dreamers. In this segment, we're going to visit with entrepreneurs from around our story country. People who have dared to take a risk and live and work their dreams. Jeff and Renee Vetter took ownership of Fairmont's County Market in August of 2007. Becoming owner-manager was a career dream come true for Jeff, who came to County Market from Mankato when the store opened in 1989. Today, he and Renee are in charge of a staff of 25 full-time employees and 40 part-timers. We talked about some of the uh, unique strategies they have implemented to differentiate their store in an increasingly competitive market. Jeff, when did you and your wife Renee then uh, take ownership of co County Market? Yeah, we took officially took ownership on August 20 of 20th of this year. Of this year, yep. okay. And you've worked in the grocery business your whole career? Yes, I started in Mankato way back in 1985, so I've been in the grocery business for 22 years. I've been at this location since uh, it was moved out of the mall. Uh, in uh, 89. In so 89. I've been in Fairmont for 18 years. And back then you were a uh, grocery manager? Yep, I started uh, here in Fairmont as a grocery manager. I worked in that position for approximately four years. I was the assistant store manager for approximately four years also. And then I've been the store manager for 10, 11 years. Wow. So in today's economy down here and everything, what compelled you to become the owner manager of County Market here in Fairmont? Well, it was, it was an opportunity that was given to me by the previous owner that um, um, I've always had the desire to own my own business. And uh, it was an opportunity uh, that he presented to me um, to take over the building after uh, Tom Anderson uh, wanted to retire. Um, so I again evaluated with the new competitive uh, marketplace that's out there in, in the local community and uh, decided that there was still room for a, a home, hometown owned grocer. Mm -hmm. Has it increased your hours? Uh, yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done, really, though, to differentiate yourself in this market? Since the advent of Walmart, we've really put an emphasis on our fresh food departments, ah, yeah. um, making sure that our produce is, is top of the line, top quality. Our meat department is, is definitely our calling card right now. Um, uh, we specialize. We have black Angus beef, which is a top of the line product, cut fresh. Um, Hormel Natural Choice pork, which is another a higher quality line of, of meat. Um, obviously our service, we still have meat cutters in store that cut it fresh. And then another major change was uh, our bakery. Uh, we brought back our bakery um, in the middle of September. And uh, so we're baking things fresh in the store every day. Um, delicious baked product and uh, that's been a real asset to us also. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, have you heard from the regulars, the yes. regular customers? <laughs> yes, we have. What are they saying? Um, you know, they, the community support, support has been overwhelming, and uh, it's been very uplifting uh, in this challenging time to, to hear the, the goodwill expressed by people that want to support a locally owned business. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they appreciate that. They like what we're doing in the store. They especially like the bakery back. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, again, they just are happy. We've had a core customers here that followed us again from the previous Randall store into this store, and, and they were real happy to see that the store was going to continue and, and carry mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome.